back the Lord today to be the young people listed in your program, Kevin Austin, who was in the field of communication, followed by Personia Love, the Life of Kind of Studies. Good evening. On behalf of the graduating class of 2005, let me express my sincere, my sincere appreciation for the opportunity to address you this evening. Tonight is a particular honor for me because my presence on this very stage was pretty unlikely, at least according to some. As a kindergartner in Morristown, New Jersey, I was banned from attending public schools because I was told I was too inquisitive by the predominantly white school board. As a junior high school student in New York, our school bus was pushed over on a regular basis as we fled to safety. A mob of angry parents, Sicilian and Italian, would chase us with hockey sticks and baseball bats to the near subway. Their criminal acts, whether they do it or not, actually ignited a flame of activism in me. That flame of activism quickly grew into an inferno. Through the enlightenment I received from some very insightful African Americans, Native Americans, and many other family members, members in my family. That, that's why it is our time to take a stand. I stand here tonight grateful for the diversity of my heritage, aware that my mother's dreams live on through me and my precious children. I stand here knowing that my story is part of a larger American story, and that we all owe a major debt to all of those who went before us to allow us to be here tonight. I stand here tonight also knowing that in no other country on earth is our stories possible tonight. That's why this year's theme, Rekindling the Spirit of Activism, it is our time to take a stand. Speaks directly to the heart of this African American graduate. Graduate. As a young man, I vow to no longer have my destiny driven by the action and character of others. No longer should we allow the other man to tell the brother man what to do with self. <laughs> No longer should we step aside and pass over for a job. Instead, we should step up to the challenge. Because it is our time to take a stand. And it is not as though we just had an awakening. Our pride is based on a very simple premise. Written in a declaration over 200 years ago, we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is our time to take a stand. Say it with me. It is our time to take a stand. In the 21st century, everything happens overnight, quickly, instantaneously. But the transformation to act to this takes time. We must endure. Moses, it took Moses 40 days in the mountains to get it. It took Noah 40 days in the floods to get it. It took David battling with the fire 40 days to get it. It took Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, 40 days wandering in the wilderness to get it. Perhaps the dream of mass transformation is a battle before us, one of the greatest battles before us. The metamorphosis of new America, fearless, free, united, and morally rearmed. It is our time to take a stand. You see, this is the true genius of America. And faith in the simple dreams of its people, the insistence on small miracles, that we can tuck our children in at night and know they are fed, clothed, and safe from harm, that we can have a thought, express that thought, write that thought without hearing a thud on the door, that we can participate in the political process without fear of retribution and know our votes will be counted. Well, at least most of the time. Sorry, Florida. <laughs> that we can participate in so many other avenues and be welcomed. But let's not forget it took a single vote, a single vote in the German parliament to launch Adolf Hitler to power. A single vote, people. So we have to have the faith and belief that what we do as a people will impact millions. If you feel the same energy as I do tonight, the same urgency as I do tonight. The same hopefulness as I do tonight. If we do what we must as a people, I have no doubt that all across this great land, we will rise up and reclaim its promise. And out of the long days and the struggles and the darkness, a brightness will come. 
we have to hope. Illinois State Senator Barack Obama delivered the essence of this same message to the Democratic National Convention, and it echoes the sentiments of what I'm saying tonight, that it is time for us as a people to take a stand.